Merry Christmas is that time where once again we celebrate in so many ways, eat too much food, uh, visit our families and friends, which is great, uh, buy presents. And in the midst of all of that, we know there's a story about a baby who was born in quite humiliating circumstances, born in what was essentially a donkey car park and, and then placed in an animal feeding trough. And yet this birth was so important that we remember it even today. In fact, time is measured from when this baby was born. And his name? Well, you know what it was. His name is Jesus. And that name means something. The name Jesus means literally God saves. And Mary was told that she would give birth to a baby and call him Jesus because he would save people from their sins. I wonder if I could just take a couple of minutes to explain what that's all about this Christmas so you can really think about what does this birth have to do with the lives that we live today. Saving people from their sins. Well, sin. God says to us that we should love God with all of our heart, soul, mind and strength, everything we've got, and love other people, our neighbours as ourselves. The truth is most of us don't really do that. In fact, God gave an even deeper law with more commandments in it. We often call, call them the Ten Commandments about how we should live. And we can often think that God did that because he wanted to spoil our fun. He wanted to make life, well, just miserable, all doing things that we don't want to do. But actually, the reason he gave that law, the reason he tells us to live a certain way, is because he knows that if everybody just does their own thing and lives life how they want to do it, then nobody's actually free to enjoy life. If I can do anything to you, and that's okay, then you can't really enjoy life very much. Similarly, if you can do anything to me and I can't do anything about it, then that doesn't really make my life very enjoyable either. The truth is we all need a right way to live. There is a way to live, the way that God intends for us to live. And then if we all did love God with everything we have and loved other people as ourselves, the world would be a fantastic place to live in. Unfortunately, sin, our own personal desires, our wants for our own way to get things how we want them to be, gets in the way of that. And like any law that gets broken, there has to be a punishment. There has to be, otherwise people just carry on doing what they want to do without any concern for anything. They just do their thing. The punishment the Bible tells us for our sin is, is that we die and then we spend eternity without God. It sounds harsh, but it has to be that way because it has to be a serious punishment for a serious thing. And then what does it mean to be saved from sin? Well, that's what Jesus' name says. He came to save people from their sin. And, and this is what it means. He came to live a life where he kept the law completely, did everything the law required, never did anything wrong. And then he died. He took the punishment for sin. To put it another way, he paid the price for the things that we do wrong. He got the blame for the things that we actually do wrong that we should get the blame for so that we can receive a gift. And that gift is forgiveness. That gift is knowing God in our life and beginning with his help to live the kind of life he wants us to live where we do love him with everything we've got and love other people as ourselves. And then ultimately, the greater gift is that having spent life here, we then spend eternity with him in heaven ever and ever and ever. That's why the baby was born. That's the message. Like any gift, we have to receive it. And I encourage you this Christmas to think about God and his message and his love and ask him to give you that gift of eternal life. Be prepared to admit that you need help. Sometimes that's really hard to do, to admit anything that we ever do is wrong. But admit to God, God, I get things wrong. I need your forgiveness. And then accept that he's forgiven you by coming to this world as a man and dying on a cross for you. And ask him, Jesus, this Christmas, come into my life. I want to live for you. Merry Christmas. God bless you.